Shut the fuck up. Why are you even crying? Oh, it's because I have such a shit oh. upload schedule. Well, guess what? I'm a changed man. Starting now, I will have, wait for it, yearly uploads. Serious? Just kidding. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Drum roll, please. I'll be uploading at least twice a week or more if you're lucky. Yo, what's up everyone? Bungo just released a brand new raid called Garden of Salvation. And guess what, Destiny 1 veterans? It's in the mother Black Garden. So today, I decided to solo the entire thing with dying. Sounds easy enough. Right? Wrong. Right here, Garden of Salvation. What? <laughs> Recommended 940? Oh, hell no. What am I? 919? <laughs> oh, shit. This ain't happening, is it? Nope. All right, let's see what this is all about. I'm gonna- I'm about to complete a six-man activity as one person easily. Watch me. Watch me. Oh, sh- I didn't even- Yo. What is going on here? I've been really trying, baby. Yo, this man. Should I be giving these guys some privacy? Alright, I'm gonna see what happens when I kill this Minotaur. Okay, that definitely starts the encounter. Yo, what the hell is that? Oh, shit! Yo, leave me alone. And I died. Okay, I have no clue what to do right now, so... When in doubt, watch Datto's video. There's a lock on this gate and I have to take I have to take this and tether myself to it and then I have to make it reach that thing over there. Oh shit, I can't reach that, can I? Please don't hurt me. I know I gave up on soloing the raid, but it's because I discovered it's literally impossible. But here's me doing it with a full team. Enough of this shit, let's get to the good stuff. The Destiny community has discovered an amazing way of glitching the raid so that you're able to get two chests without having to complete a single encounter. The first chest can be accessed by any class that has high mobility. To achieve this, just equip mobility mods on all your armor. The second chest will require a shitload of skill and a grenade launcher with the sticky grenades perk. You can find one of those in your collections, and let me show you exactly where. So you come over to weapons, you go over to heavy, you come down to grenade launchers, and you find one that has sticky grenades. So I think this one right here, Behringer's Memory, it says sticky grenades right there, just grab that and you'll be golden. Now just follow my lead to earn your sweet, precious loot. Yes, that's a more console ripoff. Psst. And if you guys keep watching until the end, I have a super huge package opening for you guys.
All right, everybody. Now, as promised, I have an insane amount of bounties to open just for you guys. Look at that. Look at all of those bounties waiting to be opened. All right, let's get right into it. Holy. Oh my god so i got an artifact unlock oh my okay let's see where i got to here oh my goodness i was at 25 and now i'm all the way at 27 and i got an infamy rank up oh my goodness i made it pretty much to 27 that's that's 27 in my books right there so let's just claim even an exotic engram Holy huge opening and I'm not even done yet a whole load of prime engrams too <laughs> Oh my goodness and a beautiful nostalgic engram Hopefully we can get an exotic. This is for you guys Wow Can't even believe you guys right now too bad these don't dismantle into bright dust anymore all right everyone that's today's video i hope you enjoyed it i would like to draw attention to the fact that i haven't asked you to subscribe yet and i i still won't but you know just just think about that anyway thanks for watching and i hope to see you all in the very next video